Good morning. This video is a response to Barbara Kanko and Tim Harper about what I'm doing. So this will double as a October channel update. As far as my role playing is concerned, I have been a player in a D&D 5th edition game. I'm playing a halfling wizard named Fess Amalda, and I'm having a great bit of fun playing. She's an Order of the Scribes wizard, so I'm having a little bit of fun with that. But I have been playing D&D 5th edition as a player, and I have a 5th edition campaign that I'm going to finish someday. Now, a, another game that I got to run as a lore master is a One Ring 2nd edition. I already dropped a video about that a week and a half ago about the, the, uh, the campaign diary. I actually haven't talked about the system as a whole or gave it a review or overview or whatever. And I do intend on doing that pretty soon. I don't want to put any dates on it though. So I had a blast with that in the two sessions that I played. I'm looking forward to playing again. We're going to play on the first weekend of November and I'll be doing a campaign diary about that as well. So something I'm really excited about is the index card role-playing game. I heard of the index card role-playing game way back three, four years ago when it was basically just index card based. And I feel like maybe a bit of a hack of fifth edition. I, I, I don't know. I wasn't paying much attention back then. It didn't, didn't gain my interest. I thought the art style was interesting, but I, I never was interested enough to purchase any products. Well, seeing the news that Modifius has decided to publish the Master Edition of an Card RPG, and I'm a fan of Modifius, I decided to dig in a little bit more. I found a review of the Master Edition. It has blown me away. I immediately pre-ordered the book and I bought some other products. I actually became a patron of the Runehammer Patreon, and I'm loving it. And that is how I got to play the NX Card role-playing game for the first time last night. I played with three random players and I had absolute blast. And I think part of it was the player mix. I really felt like the other two guys and the game master really brought the awesome to the table, but also the system. I love the system, you know, and it's an open system. Uh, meaning that you can play it in uh, multiple genres. I feel that it's absolutely amazing. And like last night was my first time actually playing it. I played some mock battles with some characters that I make because that's I feel like that's one of the best ways to learn a system is make characters and, and even run some mock combat to see how that works. But this is my first time actually playing with other folks. That would really be a test of the system, I thought. And it passes with flying colors. I, I kind of want to run it tomorrow, you know? Like, I don't want to put my D&D game aside and just run um, ICRPG. But of course, you know, years ago, I fell in love with fate like that. And now I still have an affection for fate and I really like fate. My, my feelings have changed. My change over time, so I need to temper my expectations on that. So what else? Um, on the board gaming front, I've been doing some solo gaming. You know, I, I played uh, Fast and Furious Highway Heist. I'll be dropping a video um, on the Dice Tower board game breakfast for that soon. Um, I will also cover it on my podcast. Yes, I am still going to be doing my podcast and uh, I'm getting all that stuff together. Uh, and I played a couple other games. I got back in the Sentinels of the Multiverse, played a couple of games of that. That's been fun. I'm drawing a blank on what else I've played, but it's been a lot of solo gaming lately because my primary gaming group, people are very busy. And, I, and I, you know, I'm busy. I have a kid. I used to be the host, but with two small kids, there's a lot of chaos in the house. And I don't like to play games too late if I wanted to be realistic. I mean, that that would be the way for me to actually like host a board game event is for it to be late at night. And I'm not feeling that. And quite frankly, my wife isn't feeling that. We have tried stuff, doing stuff earlier. The kids, they love being with the dad. And so it is what it is. I've started looking for, you know, game groups and meetups to go to so I can get some more games to play with um, other people. That is basically it. Thank you folks for watching.